and I'm very happy to talk about this movie because it's coming out next week and I just want to tell you what I think is going to happen. I think that Michael Myers might actually be dead for good this time. <laughs> <laughs> I finally watched Halloween Kills after I didn't watch it last year for some reason. I'm unsure why, but I wanted to. I ended up not watching it, but watched it this year and leading into Halloween Ends. And um, here are my thoughts on it. Much like the original Halloween 2, it's a continuation of the night. Like, much like a Halloween 2, which was, uh, was a continuation of the first Halloween night. Like, the same night, just more of that night. A, a literal continuation. So is Halloween Kills to the events of the 2018 massacre, taking place on exactly the same night. Solid. It's very much a very, it's very much an in-between film, leading in Halloween Ends. Yeah, Halloween, uh, Halloween Kill. It's all right, actually. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was pretty solid, honestly. I actually had a lot of fun with it. I never thought in my life I would see Michael Myers holding a bloody silver shamrock mask. I'm glad that they were finally respecting a Halloween 3, and that was really nice to see. So that was that was actually pretty cool, honestly. I like that. Kills in this movie are really entertaining and very brutal. It's nice to see the Myers house once again. Um, it's a pretty solid film. James B. June Courtney, great as Michael Myers. Um, I really like the Hawkins character. I really do, honestly. I like the 1978 sequences. I think they're really well done. And we flesh out the 1978 massacre. And shows how Michael got caught. And it's, a, it's pretty cool, honestly. And it's also like a full circle moment. How when he does get caught, he's standing outside his house like he did when he was a kid after killing his older sister. So there's really cool, like, nods and almost like kind of full circle moments, which is pretty cool. But, yeah, it's alright. It's solid 7 out of 10. It's one of the better entries in the series by far. Um, Yeah, honestly. Hopefully Halloween ends is good too. But it only kills in the bad, actually. I had fun with it. That's it for today. I will review Black Adam very soon. I watched that last night by the time I'm recording this. 